Hello everyone, welcome back to Joy's Vile Collection channel. Uh, this episode today, we're having another seal to reveal. Uh, we're going to have this particular one, a special one for here today. Something had arrived today on my doorstep, on my front of my door. And um, I said to myself, could this be it? Could this be the one that we all been waiting for? Uh, back as we all know, back in, I believe in November, they have released already all the tracks, I believe about... Um, 145 tracks of all the Elvis on tour uh, of his 50th, 50th anniversary of 1972. And also they were claiming that by December 2nd, they will be releasing the physical, the CD box set, which will consist of six CDs along with the one DVD Blu-ray disc of the 1972 Elvis on tour. So prolonging with that, they actually postponed it and set the release date in a future notice, which would have been today, January 27th, as I'm recording this video right now. So I would like to share this with you guys of opening it together and taking a look at the CDs themselves, see how everything came in, the packaging. First of all, I bought this off on Amazon. Um, they had it for about, I think, $82. Uh, retail price was going about 120 I believe. And I think that's what it was on Graceland.com. On Amazon, they were basically on a sale for $82. So, without the further ado, let's open up this package. Let's see if I can open this up without any... Um... Oh, yeah, sure. No problem. Well, well, well. Take a look. What a... What a beautiful, beautiful box. I mean, check it out. Wow. Here's the other side. And of course, the plating. Now that we all know that the book, I mean not the book, but the box set has arrived and it's in my hands, let's take a look what it says. It says here, Elvis on Tour, 50th Anniversary Edition, 6 CD plus 1 Blu-ray package includes 145 tracks from Elvis Presley's historic April 70 tour, tour and rehearsals, Blu-ray of the full Elvis on Tour film, and as well it comes with a 32-page booklet with the rare photos, new historical essays, and more. Um, I mean, what else could be said about this? Just just looking at this whole set right now, I believe this kind of completes. And this was also produced by um, Mikhail Jorgensen, I believe it was, on this 7th uh, uh, disc set release. Uh, what else they have here? So they say, um, during the April 1972 award-winning filmmakers Pierre Adig and Robert Abel occupied Elvis Presley on the national tour, capturing unique fly-on-the-wall documentary footage in the four concerts, which included in Hampton and Richmond, Virginia, Greensboro, North Carolina, and San Antonio, Texas, under the MGM original press release states Elvis on tour. Now, I'd like to also open up this whole box up with you guys, so I have the blade. Let's try to get this in without kind of tearing. Because I would like to save this packing as well. So let's see. Gotta open it very slowly. Mm -hmm. All right. There we go. And this was released by Sony Legacy. So, packing is on, the disc and the booklet are coming out. Let's take a look. First off, the design of this is such a beautiful, beautiful copy. I mean, take a look at this artwork that they've done. I mean, can I say more than this? That's the back. Elvis on tour. OK, 
Okay, so they basically have a little bit of essay documentary about the whole thing as they're stating. So here's the uh, third and the fourth page. I'm not going to read through this whole book, so I just want to show you guys up front how it does look like. So you know, if you guys want to get hands on this uh, set as well. Another great uh, photos. Beautiful. I mean, got more on the side. So basically, on this booklet, I might take a look after this page, but I believe it's about maybe 30 pages total. Yeah, it's about 30 pages in total. So, as you can see, over here you have the, like some of the posters that were released during that time, or cards. And this is from the FTD release, which I actually have as well. It's right here. And some of these came out, I think, on bootlegs or stuff like that. And I believe it was on the fifth CD that they stated that they used from the FTD, from the Follow That Dream. So, such a beautiful little copy. I'm hoping that on this uh, film, in the I mean, they're standing it as, as a Blu-ray, so they're going to have things uh, split up together, probably for the original. And this is put the last, just with the credits, basically, of who designed and all the works of this that was produced. Such a beautiful little booklet right here. I'm going to go through it a little bit later on today. All right, so now what are we looking at? Let's take a look. Is this the DVD? Okay, so what we have is the first that I just opened up. All right. So basically the front cover as it's stating right here, that's from uh, Jackson Jacksonville uh, Veterans Memorial Coliseum, April 16th. This back right here is from San Antonio, April 18. And the panel, which would be this one right here, uh, that was in Albuquerque, April 19. So let's take a look at the discs. Basically, I'm in wrong order, but we'll go from there. Here's the CD5. Probably CD6. Yep, CD6. And I believe this is probably the DVD. We really got it. Yep, there it is. This is the Blu ray disc. And in the back. Take a look at the DVD. Almost as like the one that released on the DVD before the disc kind of look like. That goes back in here. Now we're going for the first uh, set that's with this disc one and two. Uh, check this out. Beautiful. open up wow check out the other side as well you guys are getting the first glimpse so I'm not seeing anything let's turn it around 
All right, so let's go with the disc one, shall we? Here it is, Elvis on tour. I believe that this one is April 9th concert. That this two would be, I think, April 10th. I mean, all of this is the same. I mean, I'm not going to go through each one of them, so you guys already know. Basically, this three would be, I think, April 14th, and this four would be April 18th, if I'm not mistaken. Let's take a look at the back over here. As it states, all these, um, so basically, particularly, uh, back cover right here would be from San Antonio, April 18th. The front cover, which was right here, this was actually again from Jacksonville of April 16th. And then the panels that I had on the sides on both of these, basically from here, uh, this was in uh, Coliseum. Macon in April 15, and I believe this was in San Antonio Center of April 18. So that's my seal to reveal as of today. I'm so happy, not only happy, but just to have this box set completed basically now of this Elvis on tour, this 50th anniversary release. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be amazing. Um, I heard the soundtracks already on from YouTube and even on Apple Music, but Without that, you know, I, I'm always with the more of a physical and the hard copy of getting these kind of materials. Because at the end, if streaming goes down, you won't have any kind of music. So at the end, you always, I mean, would have like a hard copy, so like a CD or records and stuff like that. So I appreciate each one of you for stopping by and watching this video that I had shown to you for a seal to reveal. And I wish each one of you as well a happy and a blessed weekend. Take care, stay safe, and thank you all once again.